Hey, 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 it's me, Meatbag McMurka, Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. And today I want to talk about our Lord and Savior, Donald Trump, got his, uh, got his guy passed, uh, Kavanaugh, the most beautiful man in the world. He's a really good looking guy. His wife's pretty hot too. And, uh, you know, like, I gotta say, all right, so Judge Kavanaugh got confirmed. Sure. Well, that's obvious because <clears throat> the whole allegations against him are totally baseless. They have no, no bearing in reality. Uh, this lady, this, this lady, Christine Ford. Okay, so first of all, Christine Ford is the initial, the initial accuser. Now, are you aware of her uh, CIA family ties? Like her dad worked for a bank that's actually linked to the CIA. Uh, she got a job at Stanford where they do uh, MK Ultra programs, or where they did them, supposedly they stopped it, but uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure they ever did. And uh, on top of that, she actually wrote an article back, or she wrote a paper back in 2008, talking about the ability to implant uh, false memories, false memories, using self-hypnosis. It wouldn't surprise me if Miss Christine Blasey Ford, the 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 liar. Like I watched her testimony, and she's a fucking liar. Like you can tell it with her body language. Everybody's like, "Oh, she's so compelling, and she's so honest, and she's so truthful." And who could ever discount her story? I can. Look at her. Just watch the video again with the Christine Blasey Ford, uh, fucking bullshit lying and you know and, and so she says oh I can't remember where it happened I can't remember when it happened and then oh I've got an I, like she said that oh I've I was this happened to me back in my late teens and then she was like no it happened back when I was 15 and there's a big difference between 15 and late teens then her lawyers are like oh she's got a fear of flying and she can't go from California to Washington Turns out she wasn't even in fucking California at the time. She was in fucking Connecticut. Connecticut. And she could have easily drove. I've driven from from, Los, from Washington, D.C., you know, up to, up, like, I've driven through Washington, D.C. It's not that, mu not that big of a drive to drive to Connecticut. It's like, a, you know, a couple hours. Sure. Yeah, you go through Maryland. You go through fucking wherever else. But, you, but Connecticut's like nothing. Nothing. But they got caught in a lie because the Republicans said that they were willing to go to California. And then they're like, whoa, 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 we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have her there. You know, it's like she wasn't even in fucking California at the time. Yeah, the Republicans would have shown up. They were willing to go down there and interview her. But the Republicans uh, basically called their bluff. And then they were like, okay, well, well, she'll make it. And then she went there and you could tell she's lying. She's nervous as hell. Now, I can understand being nervous and stuff like that, but her body language is like she, she has... Uh, he, here's the big thing. She doesn't remember anything about the thing except for she remembers 100% that it was Brett Kavanaugh. Remembers 100% it was Brett Kavanaugh. She didn't know who Brett Kavanaugh was. Brett Kavanaugh didn't know who she was. They didn't travel around in the same social circles. How would she know? Did somebody, like, freaking call him out by name? And if so, who? Like, how did she know it was him? On top of that, there's this other guy who was there at the, uh, at the fucking same school that looks just like him. How does she know 100% that it was him? Well, it's because she's CIA. Her family's CIA. She's part of the MK Ultra program. She actually helped... <laughs> she, she wrote articles about implanting false memories. I mean, and, and, and she obviously perjured herself when she talked about how she, she never never uh, uh, instructed anybody on how to take a polygraph test. And then they do this polygraph test. And well, well okay, so, so she, she said she never did. And then like her former boyfriend actually says, oh yeah, she actually did. And he called out the person by name who she instructed to take a polygraph. And third of all, they, then they do a polygraph and they take two questions. And the two questions really don't even ask the question about did, Ka did Brett Kavanaugh uh, do this to you, or anything like that. It was two questions. Two questions on a polygraph, and all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, this is totally legit. No, it's not legit. 
It's not legit. Brett Kavanaugh did not do this. I'm going to go out on a limb and say he did not do this. All the other ac accusers and the fucking Michael Avenatti, Julie Swetnick bullshit about fucking running trains on her. And she went to the... She was an adult at the time. And, the, <laughs> and the, she went to, this, to these parties with people who were children at the time. And there was this... There was this... Uh, uh, this train that was running and she went to 10 parties before it finally happened to her and she knew it happened and it's like uh wait you're you're over the age of 18 and you're attending parties with minors where people are doing uh uh running trains and getting women drunk and stuff like that and you didn't go call the police doesn't that make you an accessory to a crime oh i think it does but uh you know i'm not the fucking fbi so this has been Meatbag with America, Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. Like, share, subscribe, click the little bell thingy down there at the bottom. And if you have any disagreements with me, if you want to uh, yell at me, go ahead. Just do it on the, in the comments forum and use all caps to make, sure you're, to make sure I know that you're yelling at me. Uh, and give me all your money because when I'm governor in Utah, I'm going to have it. Thank you.